First, I want to say good morning to everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank God for another Sunday morning. Yes, thank the Lord. He gave us another Sunday to come to praise his name. Worthy to be praised. From last Sunday up until this time, he took care of us. Because we couldn't take care of ourselves. So we thank God for that. But we're going to be started with our devotions and we're going to have good time and we're going to praise the Lord because he's worthy to be praised. All right, Brother Foles. God bless you. All right, praise the Lord, everybody. All right. Old Jen to say, Savior, hear my humble cry. Mm -hmm. While on others thou art calling. Calling on you, Savior, Savior, hear my hum, humble cry. Thou art calling, do not pass me by. Oh, I'm calling on you, Savior, Savior, hear my heart. While, while on others thou art called, calling, O oh Lord, do not pass me by. Praise the Lord, do not pass me by. Thank you, Brother Fool. Now we're going to have a scripture. And a prayer, and we turn it back over to Brother Foley. God bless. Let's have a good time. Praise God. Thank you for letting us come back to the house of the Lord one more time. Yes, yes. I'll be reading a portion of the 95th Psalm. The word says, Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise of the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with songs. Yes, yes. For the Lord is a great God and a great king yes. above all gods. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands formed the dry land. Oh come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker for he is God and we are the people of his pasture yeah, yeah. and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When our fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. 
I read the first nine verses of the book of the 91st Psalm. Thank the Lord for the reading of his holy word. Let us prepare our hearts for prayer. All wise and heavenly Father, again we come, God, just thanking you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you, God, for blessing us throughout the week, oh God. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you, oh Father, for just keeping us in your care, oh Father. God, we couldn't do anything without you. Oh God, we just ask that you be with us this morning, oh Father, as we praise your name and give your name to praise, oh Father. Thank you, oh Father. Uh, we just ask you to bless the singing today, oh Father. Bless the preaching today. Bless each and every member of this congregation that we may be able to hear something, something be said or done, oh Father, to encourage us to go on in your name, to be more faithful to you like you are faithful to us, oh God. Oh God, we just ask that you keep us in your care, oh Father. Keep our minds and our hearts stayed on thee. Oh God, don't let us be burdened down with our circumstances, oh God, but just put all our trust in you and not trust in our own um, understanding, oh God. Keep our minds again, oh Father, in the name of Lord Jesus. Bless the man of God as he delivers your word this morning. Bless it to fall on good ground in our, of our hearts, oh Father, that we may be able to receive it in the name of Lord Jesus. Oh God, we know that those are out there that are sick, oh Father. We know we have sick and shut in everywhere, oh God. We just ask you to heal and deliver like only you can. We trust you, oh God, that you are able to do all things and do all things well. We thank you, oh Father, for the healing of those who came down with COVID over the last few weeks, oh Father. You touched our bodies, oh God. We just want to give you praise, oh God, because we know it was only you. It was only you that kept our, kept our bodies, oh Father, and allowed us to be healed, oh Father. In the name, Lord Jesus, we just ask you to continue to keep us in your care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. There's a storm out on the ocean, and it's moving this so way. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely, surely drift away. There's a storm out on the ocean, and it's moving this way. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely, surely, surely drift away. God bless. Drift away, Lord. Drift away, Lord. You will surely drift away. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely, surely, surely drift away. There's a storm out on the ocean, and it's moving this way. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely, surely, surely drift away. Let the church amen. amen. Thank you, Brother Ford. Thank you. Thank you all to help us with the devotion. Now we can turn the remaining of the service and hand up the pulpit. Let us have a good time. Let your church say amen. amen. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. God has been good to all of us. 
For this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you. But I'm going to give God praise. He woke me up this morning. Started me on our way. Hallelujah. And I thank and praise the Lord for all that he has done and what he still is doing in my life. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do thank and praise you, Lord, for all that you have done and what you still are doing in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for all the ways you have blessed us. How you've made ways for us. We thank you Lord. For health and strength. And we give you the praise. In Jesus name. There being a sick among us. We pray that thou would touch. And heal right now. Hallelujah. Some might be going through stretched out situations but God we know you're able to bring things back into order in the name of Jesus bless every family in Jesus name bless the young people right now in Jesus name bless relationships right now in Jesus name oh God we give you the praise pray that I would bless this church in the name of Jesus Bless our pastor in the name of Jesus. Bless every associate minister right now in Jesus' name. Bless our God, Reverend Jackson, right now in Jesus' name. Oh, God, we pray that I would bless all the deacons right now in Jesus' name. Bless the missionaries right now in Jesus' name. Bless every ministry right now in Jesus' name. Oh God, we give you the praise. And we know you're going to have your way in the midst of your people right now. Then Lord, when it's all said and done, and we can't come this way no more, pray that I will give us a home in thy kingdom. We'll be able to praise your name forever. This we ask in no other name, but the name that's above all names. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. And all the people of God say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is the day that the Lord has made. I don't know about you, but I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Let us uh, pay attention to our responsive reading. Psalm 136, verses 1 through 6. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. Altogether, to him that stretched out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. Amen. There are some things 
Amen. I may not know there are some places I, I can't go, but I am sure of this one thing that God is real, for I can feel Him deep within. Yes, God is real. He's real in my soul. Yes, God is real. For he has washed and made me whole. His love for me is like pure gold. Hallelujah, yes it is, yes God is real, for I can feel Him in my soul. Yes God is real, He's real in my soul. Yes God is real, for He has washed and made me whole oh but his love for me hallelujah is like you go it's like you go yes god is real for i can feel him in my soul yeah, yes god is real He's real in my soul. Yes, God is real, for He has washed and made me whole. His love for me is like your gold. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Yes, God is real, for I can feel. Him in my soul. Yes. Second of St. Paul. <clears throat> Today is Sunday, November the 19th. Let me say I'm just so happy to see all of us here today. Amen. As Sister Annie would say, we're able to put one foot in front of the other, and I'm just so grateful to see everyone. Today is the church choir annual day. Ministry roll call will be presented during the offering period. Brother Young is the president. Holiday gift cards will be presented to our senior members today following the morning service. For members only, the November financial status report is available in the church office or you may have it emailed if you like. There's only one report per member. Sunday, December 3rd, we'll have Holy Communion. Sunday, December 17th, Youth Fellowship Ministry Annual Day. A ministry roll call will be presented during the offering period. Sister Borns is the president. The Board of Christian Education will distribute annual holiday fruit bags. Deaconess Brown is the director. Sister Jackie Milam is in the Capital Regional Hospital in Largo. She is in ICU, but Sister McCall did speak with her on yesterday. I learned today that Sister Marvell Smith had surgery, but she is at home. Following the guidelines, we'll hear from Sister Pam Hodge. To all who attend Sunday school and worship service, we encourage you to be vaccinated. Until further notice, the Franklin Street door will be the only entrance and exit, and all services will remain streamlined and modified. As of today, all as of today, until further notice, the wearing of face masks is mandatory. Upon entry, each person must have their temperature checked. 
If your temperature is 100.4 or higher, entrance will be denied. Hand sanitizer and face masks are available. Once inside the church, members and guests are not to venture beyond the main vestibule, first floor restrooms, and sanctuary. The Crystal Room Cafeteria Kitchen and Education Center will be off limits to everyone. No one is allowed upstairs except for the trustees. Sunday school class will begin promptly at 9.15 in the sanctuary and will end at 10.15. This will be the only class available in the church. We recommend you arrive by 9 o'clock. Any personal communication with Pastor Benjamin must be done by a written note or you may call him on the number listed here in the guidelines. Devotion will begin promptly at 10.20. Service will begin at 10.30. We recommend you arrive by 10 o'clock. There will be one offering, and the ushers will not pass around offering baskets. For your convenience, offering envelopes have been placed behind <clears throat> each pew. Offerings must be placed in an offering envelope. We ask that you complete the envelope with your name, date, designated offering, and amount. If you need to use more than one envelope, you may do so. Members and guests will process to the tithe box where they may deposit their offering. Min missionary offerings are to be placed in a basket held by a trustee. During altar call, members and guests are to stand, remain in the pew, and pray. The covenant reading will be omitted during Holy Communion. Members and guests may process to the communion table to pick up their communion cup. Used communion cups are to be placed in cup holders behind the pew. At the end of the service, ushers will direct the congregation from the sanctuary. Everyone must exit the church immediately following the service. We know this Thursday is Thanksgiving, and we wish bountiful blessings on everyone. God bless you. and that's one of the things I want to see happen at our church when we come up and speak because COVID is airborne. You know, our pastor is protected because no one should be over there but him. Um, so I want to start off with saying happy Sunday, happy Thanksgiving, and November is Diabetes um, Awareness Month, and I left all my paper, Xerox paperwork at home. So I just want to share some, in, um, some information about COVID and hopefully, if you didn't get it, you'll get it next Sunday about um, COVID and what you uh, need to know and that is important. If you have uh, un underlying medical problems, um, you need to get your vaccine. And that was the saving grace for our pastor and first lady. Amen. Who was very concerned about the members at our church that had me go out and give um, the kits and N95 mass um, from the district for our congregation. So compliments to them yeah. that we was able to get those um, masks and kits. Now, the storage is 90, um, 90 days past the um, expiration date. So the expiration date um, expired in January, I mean in December, so you can use those kits up until um, March of 2024. So I encourage everyone to, if you haven't, to get your flu shot as well as your 2023 COVID shot, either Pfizer or Moderna. So the funny part, um, Second New St. Paul Baptist know how to um, go out in a bang, and we know how to close down a house. So I thought that was funny <laughs> that uh, on the light side of it but this COVID was very serious we had a super spreader um, we don't know where it came from but I believe that when we was up here singing people knew that they were sick before they came and that's why it just went across our church we had 66 people that I knew that was positive for COVID so um, I just uh, want us to know that if you are sick um, just don't come to church. Um, we love you all, but don't risk spreading because it could have been worse than what it was Amen. if it was the first um, COVID that um, really took away people. 
So um, I want to say that. Um, also, um, you can read it for yourself, so I won't go into all this information. But if an infected person has symptoms, they may appear to have the symptoms or not have the symptoms. If you have a fever of 104, it doesn't mean that you have COVID. You can be asymptomatic and carry it. That's why the best way that we can prevent from spreading is with our masks and social distance to people that um, we don't know. So again, it is not as bad as it could have been. Um, as we said back in August and September when Pastor um, relaxed our face mask, Lisa said it the other day, I said it in August, pandemic is over, but our COVID is not. So it's gonna be around. Mm -hmm. um, also, they said that the trio um, pandemic with the RSV, with the COVID and the flu. So we, um, again, if you have any of those symptoms, you just need to stay home for the RSV. I know you're hearing that on TV a lot. They recommend that if you have diabetes, um, asthma, any upper respiratory problems, you need to um, take the RSV. Um, and I talked about that, I'm going on. So um, only thing that I'm staying, saying again is stay home if you're sick to prevent the spread. And right now, to present, prevent the spread is for us to use, wear our masks and the social distance. And again, I can't emphasize this anymore. If you're sick, please stay home for you won't spread it. And i like to thank again, Pastor and First Lady for um, getting the mass and uh, um, calling me to get the mass and the kids for our congregation because he was very um, concerned about um, so many people being exposed and being sick by it. And some of our members are still sick, um, secondary to the um, COVID. But it was a great affair. And I'm in this note, Paulette, if you can come up real quick. Your plat came, I know. Um, as I say, we know how to close down a house. And, but we're going to open it back and pray that this stuff will go away and people will start coming back um, to church. And we just need to be smart about this. And again, wash our hands. We can go to the bathroom. Stay away. And again, wear our mask. For Paulette, um, I, um, the store closed up for me on the day of, but I want to share this. This is um, Paulette's plat. Oh, and it says celebrating 100 years, 1923 to 2023, Second New St. Paul Baptist Church. And it has a picture of our church. Distinguished award presented to Paulette Nolden. Um, in recognition and appreciation of your untying dedication, commitment, and leadership. Centennial Committee members, Reverend Nathaniel um, Benjamin, Jr., pastor, on October the 29th, um, 2023. So I want to give that to you, and thank you very much. Okay, and that's all I have to say. Happy Thanksgiving and stay safe. Amen. <laughs> Bye -bye. I don't feel no waste time. Come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me I don't feel no waste time 
I've come too far from where I started, from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be, would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Oh, I heard that harmony. Let me try that again. Oh, I don't. I don't feel no waste time. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me without Christ I would be nothing without Christ I would surely surely fail without Christ I would, oh yes, I would, lie like a ship without a sail. Oh, I don't believe he brought me this far. I don't believe he brought me this farm. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Amen. Let's give the Lord some hand praise. Let's give the Lord a hallelujah. Can you say hallelujah? Thank you, Jesus, because you've been good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. No doubt about it. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. We do give honor to our Lord and precious Savior, official family to my ministerial staff, to my wife, and to all others who are here assembled under the sound of my, my voice on this uh, another day that the Lord has given us. Yeah. We are indeed grateful to know that the Lord has blessed us, allowed us to be this close Amen. to another Thanksgiving Amen. day. Amen. A lot of people that was uh, with us uh, last year around this time, if you was to call their names, they would refuse to answer. Uh, death has right. hushed up their voices and has removed them from the land of the living. Right. But the Lord has blessed us and allowed us to be yet numbered among the living. And we're thankful for that. We're grateful uh, to uh, Sister Pamela Hodge for sharing with us uh, the information on COVID-19 and, and all other health issues that I feel we should be made aware of. Amen, amen. You know, uh, health is something that uh, we all would like to stay on the good side. Amen. Nobody ever wants to get sick or nobody ever wants to experience feeling any pain. 
But all of that, sickness and pain and all the other things are part of life. Amen. We have to experience the good as well as with the bad, the painful as well as with relieving. Amen. Amen. The Lord has blessed us and we are just grateful for all of what he has done for us from our early existence up until this present hour. Again, we want to extend our appreciation to Sister Paulette Nowling, who has done a beautiful job, along with the committee members that worked with her. Let's give the Lord and Sister Paulette a nice round of applause. We had a beautiful, beautiful Centennial Church anniversary celebration, and we're thankful to know that uh, the COVID outbreak came after <laughs> the celebration instead of before. Can you imagine what would have happened if it would have come before? You see, God know how to work things out. Amen. Amen. So let us let us be mindful of all of what the Lord has done for us here at Second New St. Paul Baptist Church. A hundred years uh, that we have been serving as a beacon of light with only three shepherds. Amen. And I'm humbled to know that the Lord has allowed me to serve as one of them. Amen. Certainly I would like to extend my appreciation to all of you for those beautiful birthday cards and to the monetary gifts. You know, the Lord blessed me to see another year of living and I'm, I'm grateful for it, you know what I'm saying, and I'm thankful to know that I'm moving pretty close to, to four scores. Amen, 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 amen. Well, the Lord has been good to me and I didn't think I'd make it this long, but you know, but, but the Lord saw fit, you know what I'm saying. Amen, amen. Have you ever felt like that? And you look at how old you are, and you say to yourself, I never thought the Lord was going to let me live this long. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. 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 But the Lord knows what he's doing. Amen. You know, he giveth life and he taketh life. You see what I'm saying? So we have to leave life in the hands of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I thank God for every day he has allowed me to see. Yes, indeed. Uh, there has been, as we all know, a rise in anti-Semitic incidents in our country. Whether we realize it or not, Jewish hate is up. Black hate is up. And Asian hate is up. Amen. Now, we do know that uh, uh, Trump has been making some, some radical remarks. I mean, you know, he, you know he's... he's talking junk to the uh, judges and prosecuting attorneys, you know what I'm saying. He don't care who you are. You know, he has, if law and order don't exist in his eyes. Amen. Uh, he is trying to be a, a dictator, and that's what he's working toward doing. And like I just said, you know, uh, we know that to, uh, Jewish hate is up, black hate is up, Asian hate is up, Latina hate is up. All people of color Amen. If that man ever gets into office, amen, we're going to have to be, we're going to have to stay on bended knees and pray for protection. Amen. Amen. The world we're living in the last days, you see, I can see so many things that's happening. People just don't respect law and order anymore. Amen. Amen. It's just, it's just sad to know how things are, but but, but, but we know that, that, that this world can't exist forever. We do know what's in God's word. It tells us what's going to happen in the last day. Yes, yes. There is also a rise in teenage crime. Teenagers are carjacking and teenagers are robbing. Teenagers are shooting folk and even shooting each other. Amen. And it seems like they haven't got tired yet. You know what I'm saying? It's so sad. Now, what is that a sign of? It's a sign that parents are not doing what they should do in the homes. You've got so many parents who have shied away from what is right. Amen. Amen. They don't come to church. Amen. They don't teach their children. You see what I'm saying? Proper family values. It's just sad how things are today. It's sad. But we do know that God is yet able. Let us pray for our young people. Our young people are suffering in a terrible way. Let us pray that the Lord will be with them. And yes, politicians on Capitol Hill have lost respect for each other. Do you all believe that? Yeah, you can see it. Huh? You can just listen to them talk and see what's going on. If you watch the news, you can see that they have lost respect for each other. 
In fact, they have lost respect for what's right. They being lawmakers, it's sad to know that some of them seem to have lost respect for even law and order. How sad that is. Even our Supreme Court judges. Huh? You see what I'm saying? We need to pray that the Lord will intervene and touch and make things better. Amen. 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 God is able to hear a saint's prayer. Fervently and effectual prayer. God is able to hear it. I do believe these are all uh, announcements that I have to share with you at this particular time. We're going to now prepare and make ready for the lifting of our offering. I trust that we will continue to do our very best in spite of all of what COVID-19 has done to us. Let us be mindful that we COVID-19 has knocked us down, but it's going to take a little time for us to get back up. But the Lord is going to help us to get back up. You know? The Lord is able to do that. Do you believe that? Yeah. Yes, yes. Let's give the Lord a hallelujah. Come on. Let's give the Lord a hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise his name. What a mighty God we serve. Praise his name. All right. It's now in the hands of our ushers. Amen. Let us be mindful of our financial obligation to our church. Amen. Praise the Lord. Lord is blessing us here at Second New St. Paul Baptist Church. Bless the Lord at all times, for He's good. Oh, yes, He is. I will bless the Lord at all times, for He's good. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. All right. He's good. He's good. The Lord is good. Each and every day of my life, I'll bless the Lord, for He's good. Yes, He is. Oh, yeah. Let us all stand for the offertorial. All things come of Thee, O Lord, and of Thine own have we given Thee. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own hand we Amen, amen, amen. 
grateful for your participating in another offering that was held here at Second New St. Paul on this another Lord's Day. May the Lord bless you mightily and sufficiently for what you have given in the Lord's house today. Amen. It's prayer time. It's time for us to communicate with heaven as a congregation of baptized believers washed in the shed blood of the Lamb declared righteous in the eyes of an almighty God. But we do know that prayer has a way of making things so much better. Prayer can remove stress and strain from your spirit. Prayer can calm your nerves when you're upset about something that's pressing severely upon your heart. The Lord wants us to use prayer because what does prayer do? It calls God's attention to the hurt that we feel, to the need that we have. We do know that God is a prayer answering God. I know he will answer prayer because I tried him. I talk to him every day. Hallelujah. And I don't get tired of talking to him because he told me men ought to always pray. So Benjamin, you ought to pray without ceasing. Pray all the time. Even when things are looking good for you, still pray. Don't wait till the storm begin to develop. Don't wait until sickness set in, but pray at all times. Let us stand at this particular time as we prepare for our altar call invocation. And ask the Reverend Jackson if she'll be so kind to come and lead us in a word of prayer. She comes to pray, let us focus our minds and our hearts and our attention on what we want from the Lord. The Lord already knows. Mm -hmm. But if we ask the Lord in faith, mm. in his own way, in his own time, he will fulfill our need. He will answer our prayer. Reverend Jackson. Father, I stretch my hands to thee yes 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 no other help i know my lord if thou withdraw thyself from me yes yes where lord where lord where shall i go shall i go yeah we come this morning lord god with our hearts Ooh, overflowing yeah. with thanksgiving my for lord. surely you are a good god to us Yes. We come, Lord God, thanking you for last night's sleep and even all the way from last Sunday to this Sunday, Lord. Yes, yes. You kept us, you blessed us, oh God. And here we are here we in are. the house of the Lord among the saints My in the Lord. name of Jesus. Yes, Father, yes. we ask you first of all to please forgive us for all of our sins. Yes, yes, Lord yes. God, you said you would because you said when we would confess our sins yeah, well, that you'd be well. faithful and just to forgive us. Oh, our yes, sins yes, and yes. cleanse us cleanse. from all unrighteousness. all unrighteousness. Lord, we come in behalf of the whole world. Yes, we yes. come, Lord God, we don't pray selfish prayers My because Lord. we know and understand that we are not the only ones that need you. Oh, the yes. entire world needs you, Lord. You I even work. told us in your word to pray for the leaders of the nations, oh, Lord yes, God. Yes. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, oh My God, yes. in the name of Jesus. Oh, and we delight ourselves in you, Lord, and pray for the churches, Lord, that are open in the name of Jesus. Yes, and Lord, those yes. that are not, Lord, help them to soon come yes, into the knowledge of the truth oh, yes, so that oh, yes. they will open their doors in the I name know. of Jesus. Yes. We thank you, God, for every blessing. We pray for those who are sick today, yes, those who yes. are bereaved, Lord, and those who are in financial difficulty oh, yes, all yes. around the globe, those that are yes, sitting yes. on the sidewalks or sleeping even on the sidewalks, laying on the grates to get the warmth yes, from the heat that comes from underground. God have mercy. We know you know all things, Lord. But we come to ask you for mercy. In the name of Jesus, you said when these last days would come, these things would be. But still, 
we could ask you for mercy. God, we thank you today. We pray for every son of man, woman, boy, and girl all around this globe, Lord, that they will soon come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Savior of the world, who makes our lives just a little bit easier to live. God, we glorify you. We pray, oh God, for our pastor today as he steps before us to preach to us the unadulterated word of God. We ask you, Lord, to touch his body. Let the anointing flow from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Let his human person step back, God, so that the Holy Ghost can step forward and speak what you would have Yes, us Lord. to know. Yes. Speak, God, that we would live better lives. Oh, Speak yes. that we would learn how to talk to one another. Speak, oh God, that we'll bring in those that you would have to come in. Yes. God, we glorify you. We magnify you. We thank you for everyone present. We thank you, God, even for those that are absent for whatever reason that they couldn't get here today. But Lord, we pray you touch them, work out their situations everywhere. Oh God, and when praying days are over, yes. and we won't do this anymore, we ha- won't have an altar call anymore, Hello. because our prayers will have been answered. Yes. We'll be sitting at your feet and praising your holy and righteous name oh, yes. Oh, yes. for all you've done for us. In the sweet name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Grateful to Reverend Jackson for that fervent and effectual altar call prayer. Let us be mindful to continue to be prayerful throughout the balance of this service. For we do know that God is able to bless us. Amen. In our service. Amen. At this time, we're going to give way to our musicians. Amen. And let them share with us. A selection and let us all involve ourselves into what is taking place within our church service some of us are concerned oh well this one ain't here that one ain't there you know well you are here amen yeah, that's a blessing amen you are here with your mask on amen amen over your COVID-19 so that's a blessing amen Amen. So let us all involve ourselves in the service. Let's have a good time in spite of. Amen. Filled with swift transition, Lord of Earth on who can stand? Build your hopes on things eternal. Oh, to God's unchanging hand. Oh. Hold to his hand, God's unchanging, God's unchanging hand. You ought to hold to his hand, God's unchanging, God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. You ought to hold to God unchanging. When your journey is completed, if to God have you been true, fair and bright the home in glory, your encaptured soul will be. You ought to hold to his hand, God's unchanging, God's unchanging hand. 
You ought to hold to his hands. God's unchanging, God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. You ought to hold to God's unchanging hand. You ought to hold to his hand. God's unchanging, God's unchanging hand. You ought to hold to his hand. God's unchanging, God's unchanging hand. You ought to build, build your hopes on things eternal. You ought to hold. To God, the changing hand. I can't think of no better hand to hold on. You ought to hold to His hand. God's unchanging, God's unchanging hand. You ought to hold to His hand. God's un, God's unchanging hands. You ought to build, build your own. Don't think he turn You are all to God's unchanging hand. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, to God's unchanging hand. No better hand to hold to than to God's unchanging hand. Amen. Let's give the Lord some hand praise up in here. Every head bowed at this hour. God and our Father, we come in the name of Jesus Christ. We come gathered together between these consecrated walls on this another Lord's day. Lord, we've gathered together for the purpose of having service in your name. We ask, Lord, that you would continue to be within our midst. Bless us as only you can bless us. Prepare our hearts and our minds to be receptive to your word. Look on us, Lord God, who are experiencing somewhat of a disruption or derailment caused by COVID-19. You know, merciful Father, all about it, and you know, Lord God, how to deliver us in time and in your own way. You will set things straight again. Be with us, I do pray, Father God, if it is thine holy and righteous will, Look on me who stands at this appointed time behind this sacred desk. I need you, Lord God, to stand with me. Pray your blessings upon the words that fall from my lips of clay. Pray that you would allow these words to sink deep to the fertile soil of our hearts, our minds. Help your word to germinate, spiritually germinate bring forth fruit that's going to glorify and magnify your name. Lift me out of self and fill me full of yourself. I pray that you would just bless as only you can bless with your word, through your word, and by your word. We are grateful to know that you allowed us, Lord God, to be this close to another Thanksgiving day. We, we realize, Lord God, that you have blessed us. You allowed us to see many thanksgivings. And we thank you, Lord God, to know every day is a day of thanksgiving. Bless now, I do pray, in Jesus' name, for his precious sake. And all God's people said, amen. And amen. Those of you who have your Bibles, you may turn to a minor prophet known as Habakkuk. No, I didn't say tobacco. 
which we all are familiar with, Habakkuk. Now, if you don't know where he lived, go to the front of your, your Bible, and it will tell you where he lives and how to find him. Amen. Habakkuk, the third chapter, verses 17 and 18. Habakkuk, the third chapter, verses 17 and 18. When you have it, say amen. Amen. You will find these words, verse 17. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the fields shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the foe, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. I want to talk briefly from this title, Thank God in Spite Of. Thank God in Spite Of. That's not a long title to write. So Y'all should be through in a second or so. <laughs> Repeat after me. Thank God. Thank God. In, spite of. in spite of. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Thank you. Pray with me if you will. The earliest observant, my beloved, of Thanksgiving on this continent was with special services in Virginia as early as 1607. The first Thanksgiving festival began on December the 13th in 1621 at Plymouth, Massachusetts. It started as a harvest festival with the people thanking God for giving them sufficient crops. That first Thanksgiving celebration lasted three days right. with the people enthusiastically participating for the initial, the initial establishing of Thanksgiving experienced quite a few changes. The first proclamation of Thanksgiving was issued on June the 20th, 1676. George Washington called for another Thanksgiving Day in 1789, the year of his inauguration as President of the United States of America. It's true, my beloved, I said it's true, it's true, that Thanksgiving Day for the child of God extends beyond a certain day of the month on our yearly calendar because every day that God allows us to see, every day that God wakes us up in the morning, every day that God allows our eyes to behold the daylight of another day is a day of thanksgiving. As we draw closer to Thanksgiving Thursday, November the 23rd, we realize that the Halloween costumes have been pulled off and, 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 and the commercialization of Santa Claus and Christmas has already begun. All right. now, 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 in the text, we find that the prophet Habakkuk prays for God to revive his work in Israel. King Josiah, who tried to reform Israel. Israel was disobedient in a lot of ways. Israel served idol gods. Talk to me somebody. Baal and Astroth and other gods. Are y'all going to pray with me? King Josiah tried to reform Israel, but he was killed 
And Israel as a nation slid back into sin and apostasy. Therefore the prophet Habakkuk struggles with God's silence and his unwillingness to judge Israel. He felt Israel needed to be judged. For it was so that toward the end of Habakkuk's prayer, he recognizes the potential hardships that will come with God's judgment. God know how to place judgment on you. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Judgment, whereas mama can't help you, daddy can't help you, nobody can help you. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yes, yes, yes. But despite those difficulties, Habakkuk realizes and, 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 and resolves and decides to embrace joy in the salvation of the Lord, come what may. There was joy accompanied with thankfulness in his spirit, and he was willing to thank God in spite of. Thank God in spite of. For you see, my beloved, many times we may be guilty of attempting to judge everything from our own limited perspective. Now, if we have what we believe we should have, some folk are prone to be thankful while other folk may see no need to be thankful at all. Are y'all gonna pray with me? Yeah. But that's not Habakkuk's perspective. He tells us to show gratitude. Yes, even if we don't have what we want or what we need. Are y'all gonna pray with me? Yes, yes, God's word says that he shall and he will supply our every need. But sometimes we have to wait on the supply of those needs. Talk to me somebody. God is not a puppet that jump when you want him to jump. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yes, yes, yes. He has his own sovereign way of handling things. Are y'all going to pray with me? Sometimes we may think on things we feel we need. Are y'all going to pray with me? We may think on things that we may feel we do need. When God already knows that some of those things that we are thinking on we don't need. Are y'all going to pray with me? God knows that some of our requests are not to be granted. For if they were, some folk would act a fool with what was granted. Are y'all going to pray with me? Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? If you pray with me, everything shall be all right. For you see, my beloved, we must and we need to prioritize prioritize what God is doing in a situation over our own wants, over our own needs. For we can learn from Habakkuk to rejoice and be thankful even among troubling times. But when you begin to measure your troubling times against someone else's troubling times, you may come to the conclusion that you've got no green light at all to complain. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, complaining that you don't have no shoes that you would like to have. Talk to me somebody. You can look around. God can show you that somebody don't have no feet to wear shoes. Talk to me somebody at all. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? But the question is asked, just how strong is your trust or your faith in God? Do you trust him regardless of your adverse situations? Or regardless of your painful disappointments, of your unanswered prayers, or your physical ailments, your financial problems, your personal hardships, and the pressure of your uncertain future. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Some folk are worried about what's going to happen tomorrow, next week, next month. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, the devil will stir up worry in your mind about things that you ain't got no business worrying about. Are y'all going to pray with me? But that's something to think about. Are y'all going to pray with me? Well, as we approach Thanksgiving Day, some folk places the food that they will consume as the highlight of that day. Talk to me, somebody. But let us refrain from focusing on the food and pigging out until we are stuffed and won't no more. All right. Talk to me somebody. For you see, the food we consume only gifts. Talk to me somebody. That's all just gifts. 
But can you imagine the people in this world today who don't even have sufficient food to eat, not only on Thanksgiving Day, but any other day for that matter? Yes, yes, the food we consume are gifts. But our focus should be on the giver, who is the giver of every good and perfect gift. Everything that God has given is perfect. Talk to me somebody. You may say that certain things that you've looked at is ugly. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? But everything that God has created, everything that God has made is good. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? If you pray with me, everything shall be all right. Yes, yes, yes. We may invite family members. Oh, yes, we are. We, you know, we probably will invite family members to sit and eat at our Thanksgiving table. But, sin, but it's imperative that we also invite the Lord to sit and be honored through prayer at our Thanksgiving table this year. Yes, yes, our taste buds will, will honor collard greens. Our taste bud will honor ham and turkey and, 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 and ham hocks and chitterlings and potato salad and, and, and the God only knows what else we're going to have on the table. Talk to me somebody. It is said, it is said, it is said that an elderly lady was picking through the frozen turkeys at the grocery store one day. But she was unable to find one big enough for her family. So she asked the stock boy, do these turkeys get any bigger, son? The stock boy replied politely, no ma'am. They are as big as they're going to get. They all are dead. <laughs> huh? Have you ever been to the grocery store and asked after you look through the turkeys, are, are there anyone bigger than these? Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, hey, they're as big as they're going to get. Not unless they bring some out from the back. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yes, yes. If you pray with me, everything shall be all right. Yes. Thanksgiving Day, my beloved, is indeed a day for Thanksgiving personal thanksgiving amen you ought to be personally thankful for what God has, has done for you how far he has brought you how well he has kept you how eternally he has saved you talk to me somebody y'all gonna pray with me but not only that but Ephesians 5 and 20 commands us to give thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ it is said it is said that two men were walking through a field one day when they spotted an enraged bull proceeding after them, which caused them to have an overwhelming fear, so much so until they hastily darted toward the nearest opening of the fence. The storming bull followed in hot pursuit, and it was soon apparent that they wouldn't make it. Terrified as they were, the one shouted to the other, put up a prayer, John, put up a prayer. We're in for it, man. John answered, I can't, I can't. I'd never made a public prayer in my life. But you must, implied his companion. Hurry up, man, the bull is catching up with us. John, being terribly out of breath, said, all right, all right. I'll say the only prayer I know, the one my father used to repeat at the table. Oh, Lord, for what we are about to receive, make us truly thankful. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> Bless his heart. Yes, yes, my beloved, in this country, we have so much to be thankful for. In this country, we are blessed with so much to be thankful for even in the midst of an inflationary economy high gas and food prices rent and mortgages have increased but still now hear me now still no enemy troops have landed on our shores no enemy planes are bombing our cities 
No enemy invasions had threatened our borders. Above all, we still have religious freedom. Yes, the personal privilege of worshiping the almighty God. According to his word. Without state interference. That's a blessing. Even, even, even with our democratic government being in jeopardy, and it is in jeopardy, even our freedom of expression, our freedom of education, and our freedom of voting all are being tampered with. And still there is plenty room for us to be thankful. For it's absolutely necessary that we be thankful from the deepest part within our hearts. But we ought to be thankful in spite of. Talk to me somebody. Yeah. There's a whole lot of things that are not going the way we want them to go. But we still, be, we still should be thankful in spite of. Yeah. Secondly, my beloved, secondly in the text, the words of the prophet Habakkuk indicated that he was not only joyful, he was not only thankful, but he was also patient. Say patient. Amen. Romans 12 and 12 encourage us to be patient in tribulation. Yeah. Yeah. But you see, in this highly emotional and easily frustrated age, it's not easy to practice patience. No, it's not. Amen. Few people seem willing to be patient anymore. Are y'all going to pray with everybody seems to be in a hurry? Everybody seems to be to the point they just can't wait. Talk to me, somebody. No matter whether to be in the checkout line or in a doctor's office or even when driving down the road or when dining out in a restaurant right. or any other place for that matter. Some folk can't even wait until the weekend comes so that they can involve themselves in their usual extracurricular activities, whatever that might be. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, 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 yeah. And nowhere does impatience seem to be more apparent uh -huh. Uh -huh. than when an individual is facing some kind of tribulation, yeah. some kind of trial. Yeah. Or there may be someone who has suffered again from slander and envious assaults. It's true that when that person is victimized with these types of attacks, that person knows by experience that indescribable agony caused by a lying tongue from a deceitful individual who smiles when they face you but turn loose their slanderous tongues against you when they leave you. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Every smile you receive is not genuine. Every pat on the back that you receive is not genuine. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? If you pray with me, everything shall be all right. Everything shall be all right. Yes, 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 yes. I said it's not easy to be patient while they're suffering from some physical or emotional afflictions or encountering hardship after hardship, one right after another. Sometimes you ask the Lord, Lord, when are you going to light up with these things? When are you going to relieve me of some of these things? Talk to me, somebody. Yeah. Or even while ending or enduring persecution from family or friends. But not only that, but feeling the effect of failure uh -huh. or defeat. But in the midst of all of this, we still should be able to thank God yeah. in spite of. For right. did you not know that it is in the midst of of our trials and personal calamities that we are being earthly tested yes. and during testing times our faith in God develops yes it does it develops yes. and it matures yes. even our living testimony as a Christian before others is closely observed yes it is folk are watching you uh -huh. when you don't realize that they're watching you yes. talk to me folk in your family circle Folk that you know as neighbors, folk that you know as co-workers, talk to me somebody, yeah. are watching you. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah. How much of an impact have you made upon their life? How much of a Christian impact have you made upon their life? Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah. And they're going to make big of the wrong that you do more so than they will the right that you do. Are y'all going to pray with me? 
Yes, 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 yes. We have to be aware of that. Yes, yes. But you see, my beloved, we have to realize that there can be no real, genuine testimony without a test. Talk to me, somebody. But when we are experiencing our times of being tested, let us be reminded that it is God's hand that will uphold you in spite of what you are experiencing with your tests. It's God's hand that will uphold you, God's grace that will enable you, his peace that will assure you, his wisdom that will direct you, his love that will comfort us. His mercy that will sustain you. And it's God's word that will empower you. But most of all, it was the death and blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on Calvary's cross that has saved us. Thank God for that. We didn't save ourselves. We can't save ourselves. Only Jesus' death on the cross and his blood is able to save us. Now let us consider the cross let us consider the cross upon which Jesus was crucified All right. Deuteronomy 21 and 23 says cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree talk to me somebody yet Jesus was crucified on a tree for it was the sins of mankind that placed him there. Are y'all going to pray with me? But have you ever considered the nails that held Christ to that cross? They were not the average nails. But they were nails representing the mockery of mankind. The malice and the hatred of mankind. The hammer that drove those nails was not an ordinary hammer, but rather it was a hammer representing the jealousy and bitterness of mankind. The cross upon which he died was not just any ordinary cross, but rather it was a cross of revenge and resentment. The crown of thorns driven deeply into his head. Yes, was not the royal crown of glory, but rather the crown of slander and shame. Even the spear that was thrust into his side was not an average spear, but rather a spear of anger and rejection. But you see, my beloved, what had appeared at Calvary to be a defeat was actually a victory. In fact, it was a glorious victory. And not an event to cause despair, but rather delight. A great delight. It was not an event to be viewed as being bad. But rather, it was actually good. All right. So good until it pleased God the Father by satisfying his justice. Yes. And overwhelmingly good for sinful mankind because eternal life was made possible. Yes. Are you all going to pray with me? Yes. What a mighty God we say. Yes. Think about it just for a moment. Yes. God has been good to all of us. God is not prejudiced. God doesn't have a certain respect for some and no respect for the others. Are you all going to pray with me? God has been good to all of us because you see what we are, he has made us. What we have, he has given us what we know he has taught us and we are where we are because he has brought us yes Jesus is almighty Jesus has all power 
he can heal a sick body yes he can he heals us when we are sick he comforts us when we are lonely and gives us food when we are hungry he's a shelter in a time of storm good God Almighty he's everything he's everything I agree with the hymn writer who wrote Jesus is all the world to me my life my joy and my all he is my strength from day to day without him I would fall when I'm sad he makes me glad yes good God Almighty when I'm sad to him I go no other one can cheer me so when I'm sad he makes me glad he is my friend he is my friend he is my mother now that mother's gone he is my father now that father's gone yeah good God of man he's all right I tell you I tried him yes I have I'm still trying him every day good God of man he's all right is he all right with you? Do you know him? Has he ever lifted you up when you were feeling low? Yeah! Has he ever come around you when you were lonely? Didn't have nobody to even talk to? Yeah! Is there anybody here that know the Lord will keep you? In the midst of the storm, ain't it all right? Ain't it all right? Won't he make a way? Yeah, yeah. Won't he make a way for you? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you right now. Thank you right now. Yes, he died on Calvary's cross to make everything all right for us. He shed his blood for the remission of our sins. To remit something means to send it away, never to come back again. Good God Almighty, when he forgive us, yeah, he throws our fence in the bottom of the sea, never to come against us again. He don't hold grudges, good God Almighty, yeah, he's a God that can forgive you better than anybody can forgive you. Man will forgive you, they'll even tell you that I forgive you, but I won't forget it. Good God Almighty, I come to tell you that God forgets it. Jesus not only forgives you, but he forgets it. Good God Almighty, ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness in here? Ain't he all right? He died on that cross was buried in a bar of tomb. But early Sunday morning, you know the story. He got up with all power in his hand. I'm preaching with some of that power right now. Thank heaven for the power of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power. Resurrected power. Yes, power that can lead you. Power that can keep you. Power. Give you strength when you're weak. Doors are open. Maybe somebody here, somebody here that don't know the Lord, never been baptized, want to be reinstated as a member, renew your Christian experience. Is there one? Doors are open. Doors are open. But have you to know that we're living in the last days. 
Yes, we are living in the last days. Time is running out. Time is not as long as it has been. If you don't know the Lord, if you don't know the Lord and you close your eyes in death, you shall lift your eyes in hell. Is there one? If you can believe that there's a heaven, you might as well believe that there's a hell. And if you don't know the Lord, the pardon of your sins, and you leave out of this life, in hell you shall lift your eyes. Is there one? Won't you come? Doors are open. Seek Jesus now. He wants you to come unto him just as you are. Weary, worn, and sad. He will make things better for you. Is there one? God bless you. May heaven forever smile upon you. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hallelujah. We give him some hand praise, but also let's give him a hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. That's what the angels are saying in heaven right now. Hallelujah to the king. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you for, for who you are to us. What you've done for us. What you mean to us. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't know about you, but I've had a good time in the Lord today. Amen. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to, to praise the Lord. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We're grateful to the Lord for having blessed us on this another Lord's Day. It's a few days away from Thanksgiving Day. And I'm wishing all of you all a happy Thanksgiving. And I'm, and I'm hoping that you all are thanking God more than just this coming Thursday. Amen. Amen. And some folk will dine sufficiently and not even ask the Lord to to bless the food amen because the food is the highlight of Thanksgiving Day for them amen they come out after they eat as much as they can eat rubbing their stomach and, and burping you know what I'm saying and, and, but the thing of it is let us let, let us be mindful as, as God's people let us be mindful to be thankful not only on Thanksgiving Day but let us be thankful for all of what the Lord has done for us Amen. But we have so much more to thank him for than just our Thanksgiving dinner. Huh? Is that right? Yeah. Amen. Grateful to our ministerial staff, official family. Grateful to our musicians. Grateful to our ushers. Grateful to our nurse. Amen. Grateful to all of you who have taken time out of your busy schedule to come out and help make this service what it has been. Let us be mindful. Grateful to our ushers as well. Let us be mindful that... Uh, as I said earlier, COVID has knocked us down. And it's going to take a little time for us to get back up. But we're going to get back up. And let us pray for that to come to pass. A lot of churches are experiencing what we're experiencing right now. Amen. But God understands. These are his churches. You know, these churches have been planted, rooted, and grounded in his name. We're many members in one body. Join heirs in Jesus Christ. God hasn't turned his back on us. He hasn't turned his back on. He hasn't forgotten us. So let us be mindful of that. All right. If all hearts and minds are clear, let us all stand. Amen. As we prepare to dismiss ourselves from this service. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, we come at the close of this another service that you have seen fit for us to experience. Only a few days away from another Thanksgiving day. And Lord, we are grateful for the message that you allowed uh, me to preach in your behalf thank you Lord for these few people who gather together to hear your preaching of your word thank you merciful father for how you have blessed this church we realize that we're on the other side of a hundred years and we thank you merciful father for how you have blessed us our centennial church anniversary celebration continue to be with us continue to keep us continue to lead us and continue to guide us now, Lord, I pray that you would just bless us as we prepare to dismiss ourselves from this holy sanctuary. Pray, merciful Father, as we return to our several places of stay, go with us, stand by us, overshadow us with your keeping power, knowing that if you keep us, we shall be well kept. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, 
May it rest, rule, and abide with us now, henceforth, and forevermore. Let every heart say together. Amen. We may leave as we see fit. Amen.